All right, guys, WebSoak here. Today we have the Middle Village Metropolitan Avenue subway station on the M line. So, this station is very, very old. As of the time of this recording, the station is 114 years old. It opened October 1st, 1906. So, without further ado, let's get into the station. So, this station has a brick exit, so it's just this building here, and there are exits. You have some doors, you have four sets of doors. So, let's go in. Over here, you have the booth. So, that's the booth. That's pretty cool. It's different design this time. It now uses yellow panes instead of clear ones or blue ones. Over here, you have the Metro Card Machines. So you can go there and you can get that minecart. So let's enter entry for the M. Let's go in. Over here, you have a map of the subway system over here you have some doors and some more some of the doors have bathrooms in them but are typically closed to the public so here is the platform of the m train so the m train terminates here and it can terminate on either side, unlike Broad Street, whereas they only terminate on the downtown side. Okay, over here you have the last stop announcement. This is the last stop on this train. Everyone, please leave the train. Thank you for riding with MTA New York City Transit. All right, you have that. I made a brand new uh, bumper design for this one. This one I like better than the other one. It's a smaller compact design. It has these cross beams. Um, what do you call these beams? But I think I think so. So it has these cross beams, these X's over here, which look cool, and yeah, it's just a different design, and I quite like it. So let me know what you guys think of this new design. Okay, so now let's head it down at the platform. So they have steel, stonish sort of benches at this station. That is something I wouldn't have known if I hadn't been here recently, though. So it's good I was there about a month ago. I will read the route sign for this one since it is a last stop. To Manhattan, 6th Avenue Local, Queens Boulevard Local, M via Myrtle Avenue, 6th Avenue Local, to Forest Hills. Terminates at Myrtle Avenue Broadway during the late night hours, since at late night, the M train becomes a shuttle. Over here, there is just a brick structure over there. It looks cool, though. Uh, I'd say it's pretty cool looking in Minecraft. And you have another track with a bumper. So let's make our way down the station. There is a fence over here with some barbed wire. So that's pretty cool. And it has trees and lots of foliage over here, which adds to the middle village feel because it sort of does make it feel like a village with how it terminates like this. But there aren't this many trees in the rest of the neighborhood. It's just really the area near the M. So, um, on this side, there is a parking lot in real life that I did not build in-game, but it's there, and it does look pretty cool, just with the empty area there, where I put a tree embankment over here. So, over here, you have a room. In real life, there's a chair here, but you can't fit that in Minecraft. 
because the player is very fat, so he is not able to go in if there is a chair there. Um, another route sign set over here. Let's move down the platform more. This platform has a very strange canopy design to it. You've noticed that by now it is not the typical I-beams. It is instead these strange looking steel supports. I'm thinking that this station was probably rebuilt at some point in the late 1900s because this architectural style is this this canopy just looks like something that i would have seen at that time this is just reminding me of the archer avenue line so it is making me think that there was some renovation to the platform at some point but it's a ground level station so obviously it was built over a hundred years ago because they wouldn't do that anymore so here is the manhattan bound announcement or the brooklyn bound announcement because we are in queens this is a brooklyn bound m local train the next stop is fresh pond road okay so there is that and here is a control house so we will go over here and you can see this area i have to add a switch but i typically will add those at the end i will show you guys how this looks at various times of the day so this is dusk dusk is very cool at this station um then you have late dusk also very cool very nice it makes the station feel very out in the the wilderness and of course late night which feels brighter what the fuck wait hold on a minute is night brighter than dusk What? Night is brighter than dusk. Hmm, maybe it's just the lights. Yeah, this part's very dark. So, the cool thing about how dark this is, is that it's darker than the tunnels are, because the tunnels have lights in them, and there are no lights here. So, when a train approaches, all that you see are the headlights, as well as the bullet the eye glowing on top that says m as it comes out of the darkness and in real life this area is even darker it's just pitch black you can't even see anything over here so this is almost there but not quite that's the, the way the trees are there is more accurate uh, maybe if i could get the moon out of the way yeah that's a bit better but the way the trees are just shadows and you can barely see any of the color on them, that's more accurate. But yeah, so this is how it would be very dark at night and you just see sort of the glowing eye of the train. So you would sort of just see, yeah, pretty much that's what you would see as the train approaches. So that's very cool. Okay, so let's wrap up this tour. So I have two more stations along the M line to build. I need reference material of them, but I will not be able to record that reference material of it for a few days. So I will start working on I think the Manhattan Bridge to be honest I'd like to get that out of the way soon because I want to build the southern BMT division next okay so 
yeah um subscribe if you're new leave a like and comment and i am web soak and i am out bye